theory of human capital uh, has become, I would say, the mainstream paradigm of educational development since, uh, since the 60s. That was the time when the World Bank started giving credits to education. And uh, one of the inspiring scientific paradigms to do that was the idea that education should not be considered anymore uh, consumption good, but an investment good. And uh, that, may, that signify a real revolution within education policy, I would say. Because if you consider education as an investment, that means that there are uh, positive returns to investing in education, both at the social level and at the private level. The World Bank has uh, among their, um, their priorities, uh, one of the most clearest one is uh, the, to increase the privatization of education. And uh, this has been, well, we have, I, I think, quite a number of signs that this is happening. On the one hand, I think th th there's reasons within the context to understand that. One is that uh, most countries now might face different type of economic crisis. Public expenditure cannot increase so much, so there's more room for uh, increasing private providers here. And, uh, and the bank is looking positively uh, this, this type of, of, of investment in education. Uh, actually, the International Financial Corporation, which is, uh, with, it is within the World Bank Group uh, institutions, uh, is actually investing more and more in, 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 uh, and, and calling private providers to, to, to have opportunities to, to invest in education. And there is also another argument that the World Bank, I think, uses for, for defending the, the inclusion of, of private providers in education, which is that uh, the, uh, they use paradoxically in some way uh, the, the, um, the argument of the redistribution effect. Since most middle and higher classes are attending the higher levels of education, uh, they should pay more for themselves. So having private providers can, can, could be even uh, more redistributive because you could then uh, reserve some uh, at, at, uh, at the, um, the higher levels of education, uh, which are attended by these social classes, they could pay for their own education. The World Bank agenda and, and others' agenda in terms of, of linking privatization and learning is based on the idea that uh, in private schools, uh, children perform better. Okay, this is the idea that private schools are better. So, if we have more supply of private schools, more uh, offer, uh, will be poor children even will be more likely to attend these schools. So their educational experiences will be better. Uh, and I think we don't have evidence for that. We don't have real evidence for that. What we have, it it is. The, the, there's some um, very different results uh, about research that compares public and private uh, schools' performance. Uh, in some of them, this can be true. In other contexts, this is not true, definitely. And, uh, and it is sometimes methodologically very difficult because you, you have really to compare uh, apples and apples <laughs> and or apples and pears. <laughs> so uh, you have a different type of... of clients in, in, in every type of school.